there. So as I've been saying, I am here to help you ditch the stress and sadness of self-doubt to live the life you really want. And what does that mean? I've even said that in some of my other ones. What does that mean? Self-doubt is a form of judgment. I don't even know if it's a form of judgment. It literally is judgment. <laughs> and judgment is when you're living here or here. So let's keep in mind, healthy center of self-esteem. I'm enough and I matter in spite of my flaws and imperfections. I have worth because I was born. And there's more. Judgment is when you're up, you're judging someone else. And when you're in less than, when you're down, you're judging yourself. So the down, the judgment down, is the self-doubt. And it's a miserable place to be. So I sell Beauty Counter. I mean, I'm not very good at it, but I do sell Beauty Counter. And this week, the founder of Beauty Counter, Greg Renfro, was in town in Boston. Um, she's actually touring colleges with her daughter, so she wasn't just in Boston in the past few days. She's been, like, all over this coast. And she did a meet and greet for the Beauty Counter um, consultants in Boston. And I went to see her and hear her and meet her. I mean, I joined Beauty Counter to be social. So I went to hang out with other consultants as well and had a great time. And she, when she was speaking, she said some amazing stuff about judgment. So I stayed after, as most women did, to just meet her and chat with her for a couple seconds. And I told her, I actually wasn't planning on doing that. I was planning on just kind of like ducking out because it was kind of mobbed. And I told her, I had to stay and speak with you to thank you for what you just said to all these ladies about judgment. I'm a coach and judgment is my topic. Um, Self-esteem, judgment is part of self-esteem, right? This is my topic. And she very graciously was like, well, and thank you for staying and telling me that. And I'm glad that it spoke to you. She was talking about the way, more so the way we judge other people. I'm talking about the way we judge ourselves as well. Um, she was saying, basically, stop judging each other. Stop judging someone else's decisions. Judgment is a form of better than. Judgment is, I know better than you do. Why are you doing it that way? Why aren't you doing it this way? Why aren't you doing enough? Why are you doing too much? I'm in better than, and I'm judging you. And then judgment to myself could be all the same things. Why am I doing it that way? Why aren't I doing it this way? I mean, it's really, I've said this, the same verbiage could be said for exactly both. And again, this is judgment. And the way to step out of judgment into your healthy center is compassion. Compassion for yourself and compassion for other people. That we all have reasons for what we do. When you look back at um, yourself historically and judge the decisions you've made and then you go into less than, it's about looking back at that you and understanding she had her reasons at the time that made sense. And we've all done it. We've all done things that we look back later. I'm not necessarily saying with regret, but that we look back later with some form of judgment. Why did I do that? That's judgment. That's less than. And again, compassion is I had my reasons at the time. Picture two yous. Picture the you from the past that you're talking to and the current you. And picture that conversation and how much you're scolding her unless your guy's listening, which I have those too, unless you're scolding him. And um, how would this past you respond? Sometimes my past me's get feisty. Don't look at me like that. I had my reasons. Sometimes they get sad. I know I messed up. So it just depends on my mood. It's still about getting out of that judgment. I have worth because I was born. I'm enough and I matter in spite of my flaws and imperfections. That judgment is looking back at my flaws or imperfections. I literally tell myself every morning I'm allowed to make mistakes. I'm going to mess up and that's okay. That's taking myself out of the judgment. We are so judgmental on other people and we are so judgmental on ourselves. So keep that in mind. When you're judgmental to someone else, you're in better than. And when you're judgmental to yourself, you're in less than. And compassion lives 
in the middle. This is where we want to get to. This is where I can help you get to. I can bring you to. So call me up to work with me. I mean, call me up. It's figure of speech. Text me. Message me. Go to yourdecisiondiva.com because I'm your decision diva, your queen of clarity. I usually point when I say the queen part. I am your decision diva. I am your queen of clarity. Yourdecisiondiva.com to get my free guide plus my contact information. And call me. Text me. Facebook message, Instagram message, comment below. Um, if you're if you're brave, let me know where you get judgmental to people. We all have hot button topics. Where do you judge other people? Where do you judge yourself? And again, shout out to Greg for this wonderful talk that she did about not judging each other anymore. Let's step out of judgment on ourselves and other people. Till next time.